Alright y'all, we're about to make some pig feet. Let me just show y'all the difference of this um this clip on light. This is what it looks like with my like stove light and my kitchen light. Let's turn on the clip on light. Girl She's different, okay? I love it. <laughs> Alright y'all. Today we are making pig feet. I've had a taste for it. I've tried to look up recipes. I ain't really found nothing that I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna use this recipe. So we're gonna wing it. <laughs> Hopefully it turns out good. So let's go. We have four here. They are split. Ain't that crazy? Like this is like a pig's hoof. That pig foot good, girl. Okay. All right. So, y'all know I do a lot of soups, a lot of things that require bell pepper, onion, celery. So, what I've been doing is, like, cutting it up and freezing it. So, I'm just now taking it out of the freezer, so it's still a little frozen, but whatever. Okay. Handful of bell pepper. Handful of celery. Ice. A handful of onion. We are going to start seasoning. I'm gonna do some grapeseed oil just so the seasonings can stick. A couple of dashes of Worcestershire, black pepper, a lot of it. Sony Saturis, Creole, some chili powder. Paprika. <laughs> if you ain't seasoned, it ain't seasoned. Period. Shout out to Chef out there. Adobo. And some crushed red. Quite a bit of it. We don't like to get our hands dirty. So, we're going to put some gloves on. Mix them up. Let's go ahead and get them seasoned too. Yeah. I'm gonna let that sit until our oven gets preheated. So maybe about 15 minutes. We get our bacon dish, <laughs> which, is, which has been very used. I gotta invest in some more baking, baking ware. A cup of water. Okay. I get two cups. Let's do two cups. Do two cups of water. I have some white distilled vinegar. A couple splashes of that. Some apple cider vinegar. A couple splashes of that. Let me mix that a little. I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Mm hmm Yeah. That's the, the vinegar, the vinegar level that I wanted at. Should I season the water? Okay. <laughs> like I told y'all I'm really playing this by ear. I have no idea. Um, we're gonna season the water. We're just gonna season it again. Worcestershire. We're not gonna season it as heavy as we did the pig feet, but we're just gonna season it a little bit. Creole, chili powder, adobo, black pepper, paprika, fresh red. Just a little bit. That's a lot. <laughs> Handy dandy rubber spatula. Gonna give that a mix. Alright. 
celery, onion, bell pepper. All right, y'all. Preheat over 375 for about three hours. But we're gonna take it out about halfway, check it, kind of base it, and put it back in. So let's see. All right, hour and a half. Look at her. Are we done? Hold on. Wait, is this done? It's been an hour and a half. It's already falling off the bone. I'm a little confused. Right, is this done right now? All right, back in the oven, uncovered for like 30 more minutes. I think these are done, y'all, so let's see. All right, y'all, here are my pig feet. Ooh, she look real good. Paired it with some potato salad and mixed greens. Oh, look at that, y'all. And look, so it took me about two hours. All right, you guys, pig feet. They look so good, y'all. Oh my God. 375 for an hour and a half with the aluminum foil. Take the aluminum foil off, last 30 minutes. Let it get that color like it's got. I was gonna make some potato salad, but I'm like, bro. <laughs> I'm just not in the mood. So I got the Amish potato salad from um, Walmart. It's actually really good. And then I got a can <laughs> of mixed greens. I just didn't feel like doing it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have done it yet again. Like, honestly, y'all, I was watching recipes. And nothing was just like, you know what I mean? Like super direct. So I really just winged it. I said, this is what I want my pig feet to taste like. And that's what I went off. I wanted that vinegary, you know what I mean? That vinegary, that heat. That's what I wanted. It's what I wanted. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. These bones is killing my vibe. Now this pig was well, a little bony. Cause girl, why you got so many bones? We do have a lot of bones on our foot, but girl. Mmm. 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 She is a little hot. My nose is about to start running. I did put quite a bit of red pepper flakes, though. I surely did. That's good. It's sticky. I mm. might enjoy this. Mm. It's all folks. I'm going to do some grapeseed oil. Green bell peppers and onions. We're adding our meat. It was just like a shredded beef. I had all of it with all cook it. So the beef is just about done. I've drained most of the juice. We've added some mushrooms. They won't take too long to cook down. While that's cooking down, we're gonna season this. Do a little Worcestershire. Creole. Some adobo, some ground pepper, some paprika, and a little chili powder. 
That's really my go-to season combination. It's good, flavorful. With this, I'm gonna add shredded cheese. Cause it just mix in better. When you put a whole slice of provolone on, it doesn't mix in good to me, so. We're gonna do shredded cheese. Just to get this nice and cheesy. All right, you guys, we have six bell peppers here. I have rubbed them down in grapeseed oil. I have not pre-baked them just because I like my bell peppers with a crunch. So they're gonna have a crunch, period, all right. Put provolone slice inside first. This is just gonna make it extra cheesy. Yet again. <laughs> okay. Take a spoonful and put the mixture in the bell pepper. Mm. Come on, Bush Boom. Okay. Mm. I'm trying to stuff these things. <laughs> I'm trying to stuff them. Come on here, get on top of that. All right. Another piece on top. Extra cheesy. Okay. Oven on 375. I'm gonna let y'all know how long it takes once I pull that out, because I ain't sure, so. Yeah, let's go. Preheat the oven 375 for 20 minutes, and here we have it. Let's see. Mm. Alrighty, there it is. So these are the times when it's dark. I don't want to go turn the light on. Let's see how this clip on light is. Oh, also oh, there. Now this is white. I don't know how it got on white. I had it on like this. Okay. Ooh. Oh. My bags are showing. But all right, y'all, we gotta do it just like this, period. Here is the Philly, what do you call it? Philly cheesesteak stuffed, stuffed Philly cheesesteak pepper. I don't know. Y'all know what I mean, okay? Here she is. I didn't want my bell peppers too soft, and it is just cutting through with a fork, so it's nice and tender and here we go are we ready yeah this is too good Mm. Pick it up and eat it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you've tried anything that I've cooked. If you plan on trying anything, um, let me know. So I'd be interested to see like if people are like actually trying this out or do you just enjoy watching let me know <laughs>